Mustafa is the commander of this defensive position in rural Aleppo. He belongs to a group calling themselves the Popular Resistance Units, and they are committed to doing everything they can to protect themselves from the Assad regime's advance. We're just civilians. We don't have any relationship with any of the armed groups. We don't take any money from anyone. We leave our homes and come here to protect them. And the people's appreciation for our work is enough for us. Thank God people love us because we're protecting them for nothing in return. His relatives and friends from the village watch for any regime movement in the positions on the adjacent hilltops. Abdul Hamid is a 22-year-old volunteer in the resistance units and says he's hopeful they will hold off the regime's advance. Young men should join us in this effort because if they don't, the regime will come and kill us all. Everything is going well here and we are very motivated. We are busy digging trenches and filling bags of dirt. We are going to do this and the regime is going to have to kill us all to come here. Over the last few days, Assad regime helicopters dropped these leaflets in this area with a message that calls for people to drop their weapons and to leave. Otherwise, they will meet a very bad end. However, this has not stopped civilians from volunteering for work like this. The popular resistance units are growing, and they say they're going to continue to do whatever it takes to protect their homes. These young men are new volunteers in the resistance units. They're being given weapons and ammunition to join other volunteers from the village on frontline positions. They're led by their childhood friend, Abdul Rahman. One of my friends here used to work in a metal workshop and other sold vegetables. The other one worked in a rock mine and he was working in a cardboard factory. It's normal when someone's home is being attacked by anyone, they will take up arms to protect it and themselves. Their motivation is to protect their homes from the regime because it doesn't differentiate between women, children or elderly people. They kill everyone in their way. Following the regime's recent capture of Ma'arrat al-Nu'man in Idlib, as these young men head to the front lines, they know rural Aleppo could be next. Obaydahito, TRT World, Aleppo, Syria.